right now, if you look at what the mint produces on the circulating coin area, uh -huh. you have the cent, which is almost valueless, right, and costs more to create than it does carry in value. That's right. You have the nickel, which is approaching that. Point. That's right. You have a, the dime and the quarter. Yeah. The Kennedy half dollars made for, for collectors essentially. That's by right. Now. That's right. The golden dollar the same way. Yeah. Does, when you were at the Mint, or, or do you think the Mint now is, has a plan to future-proof its product line so that it actually creates coins that will circulate? In other words, uh, yeah. is the 250 coin or a $5 coin or a $10 circulating coin, is that even in the realm of possibilities to be planned for? Or are they just writing out their production line until it's no longer relevant? Um. One of the really unusual aspects of American coinage is that every detail about American coins has to be approved by an act of Congress, a literal act of Congress. Any new coin denomination um, is, uh, especially circulating coins, has to be approved by Congress. So that, and that's very unusual. In almost all of the rest of the Western world, it's either the Treasury Department, the Finance Department, or the Central Bank that decides what coins are necessary to support commerce. As a result of that uh, difference, American <laughs> coin, the American coinage system has been frozen in the first half of the 20th century. We have the lowest denomination coin circulating of any, uh, lowest value denomination coin circulating of any country in the Western world. I mean, you see the equivalent of coins like the $1 Canadian loony or the toony, the $2. Uh, you have the one and $2 euro, the one and two pound uh, English coins. Um, those coins are worth, you know, from four to eight to ten times the value of our highest circulating coin, which is really the quarter. That's the workforce of American coiners. The quarter today is worth what a nickel was worth like 25, 30 years ago. So the American coinage system is really becoming irrelevant to uh, American commerce. Now, a lot of people will say, well, so what? Uh, you know, electronic forms of payment are all coming into place. Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean that there's not a role for coinage. In all these other economies around the world, there's a substantial role for coinage, but the U.S. coinage system needs to be updated along the lines of what you're talking about. The penny needs to be gotten rid of. The nickel, I think, needs to be gotten rid of, too. Uh, or at a minimum, the um, the <clears throat> the alloy that is used should be changed so that it lowers the cost. But the mint cannot remain a profitable operation of the government, and it is a profitable operation of the government. It cannot remain profitable selling, you know, one cent and five cent coins to the public. It needs to be able to have circulating coins and the dominant denomination of one or two dollars. And as I said, dollar coin will not be successful until Congress bites the bullet or the Secretary of the Treasury bites the bullet and withdraws the dollar bill from circulation. Well, I, I, I personally <coughs> believe that the dollar is not valuable enough to circulate effectively. Like if you think about it, if you want to use it as a, a way to buy lunch, you would need like seven or eight or ten to yes. complete a transaction. Yes. So that's why I think maybe a larger denomination coin would be effective. Well, I, I think you're I think you're right in the sense that we need to get above the level of the one dollar coin, but we need to break the ice first on a one dollar coin. And once we do that, and we have a successful one dollar coin, then I think in short order, in a matter of just a few years, we'll see a two dollar coin come out. And that's exactly what happened in Canada. The loony came out, there was a lot of resistance, there was a lot of, you know, tearing, people tearing their hair out that they're doing away with the dollar, Canadian dollar bill, and then it all blew over. And it was so successful, the coin was very popular, that within a matter of a few years, the $2 Canadian dollar coin came out.